you guys, it's Jessie Messy, and today we are doing baking. I'm not good at baking. I'll probably never be good at baking. But we are doing some double chocolate brownies! Yay! So, let's get started. Here are the instructions. So first, we need to get all our ingredients that we need. And I found the instructions. They're on the back. So first we will need, that's normal. One large egg. Which egg is the biggest? That. That's tiny. We have an egg. What do we need now? Vegetable oil. Is that vegetable oil? Yeah. Vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. Cold water. Oh, I don't like cold water. Can I use warm water? Probably not. Um, cold water it is. I'll get that later. So, now we have all our ingredients. We can bake. Right, no, why am I walking away from everything I need? No. Preheat oven to 190 degrees. No, 70 degrees fan. Disclaimer, we just moved house. I don't know how to work anything. I don't know how to turn on the oven. Let's tie our hair up. Tie your hair up first. Push. No, we don't do that. Why does it turn off? Mummy! How do I turn on the oven? Help! Right, now that that is sorted, you're very noisy. Please be quiet. Grease a 6x10 rectangular tin. Well, luckily, we don't have rectangular tin, so we had to buy some. Yay! Oh, it didn't even hurt. Coating oven safe. That's always good to hear. Right, so, we have our pans, and you are now going to change view so that you can see the pan. So I just need to go and get the butter first. Paper towel. Before we get started, make sure you wash your hands. Also, if you have an apron, get an apron. Let's start baking. So now they're all ready and set, we're going to get our butter and use a paper towel and grease these tins because they need greasing. <laughs> into a bowl. Oh, we don't need these tins anymore. Don't sniff my thumb. No. Bowl. Oh, I can't speak with you here. We have bowl. Empty mix into bowl. So now you're going to pour the mix into the bowl. <gasps> It kind of went everywhere, plus there's like a little chocolate chip there. Fine. Oh. Stop it. Oh. Now we're going to pour the rest and make sure you do it with your hand here. Oh. <laughs> Is this bad for you? Breathe. Once you have successfully put the mix in the bowl next, you are going to add the egg, oil and water and mix well. Do I need... No, I can throw the bag in the bin now. Right, so I need to add the egg. Oh, what if I crack the egg with shell? Oh no. Let me wash out this cup and we'll use this. Right, so, get your egg and if you're like me and you know you will destroy it just put it in a cup first yeah <gasps> oh, I did it by the way make sure you put the eggshell in the bin afterwards it always helps now you're going to pour your egg into your well just like this oh yay your mixture should now look like this what's I'm 
I need to take it that I put in the bin and the eggshell is in the It's okay. Oil, that was it. Right, how much oil? 90 milliliters of vegetable oil. I have my oil. Oh, <laughs> that's not oil. It's balsamic vinegar. I'm not made for cooking. Cooking's not made. Oh, now the lid won't. Oh, then we don't have vegetable oil. Sunflower oil will do. I mean, it's better than balsamic vinegar. Once you've got something to measure with, so you need to measure with exactly 90 milliliters of vegetable oil in this case we're using sunflower oil so if we don't stuff up that's fine let's add your supposed to be vegetable oil in this case sunflower oil once you've added your oil you are going to add 60 milliliters of cold water done no more that's it and now we're going to pour 60 milliliters of water in cold water Once you've done that, it tells you to mix well. How can I use some mix? No. So, you're just going to mix it round and mix it well. Ugh, it doesn't look very nice right now. Hopefully it will at the end though. <gasps> Chocolate chips! Nice. Once you think you've mixed it well, it should look a bit like this. Don't do that. I was going to lift it over my head, but I don't think that's a very good idea. Spread the brownie mixture into the grease rectangular tin. <gasps> the grease rectangular tins! Now you can see this mess. Get to your two grease tins. Some of the brownie mixture. Let it plop and then pop it into the tin. Repeat this until all the brownie mixture is gone. That one a bit wrong. Just a little disclaimer, make sure it's equal because I think I'd be a little sad if I ended up with that one right now. So equalness, yes. Once you've put it on roughly equally and you've got a just a bit more left, Spread it out to see which one needs more. I have cho chocolate smooth spread the brownie mixture onto both of them and I just have a little bit more left so now I'm just going to do one here and one there and keep on doing that until it's all gone. Mostly. After that stand your tray should look something like this. And now, the light is still orange, which is not very nice. So I'm going to wait till that goes off and then I will tell you the next step. The light's off. Bake in the centre of the oven for approximately 18 minutes or for 20 minutes for a less goosey texture. <laughs> Goosey te gooey texture. What would a goosey texture be? I don't want to think about that. Oh, I'm scared. It's fine. Get them, get them, get them. One at a time. 18 minutes. Starting now. <laughs> because I want. A goosey texture. <laughs> Don't laugh here, your jokes, just right. <laughs> oh Lord. Now, okay, cut. But what will I cut it? You saw the light. 
it went on and off again. Can you smell brownies? Those brownies are not for Luna. Alexa, how long left on the timer? You have five minutes and ten seconds Stop. left on your 18 minute timer. Stop! The dish! I was instructed not to use a cooling rack and just to put it on a plate because she doesn't know either. Or does she? Or does she? Brownies! Uh, I know. I'm Alexa! Stop! Quit it. Number one. Number two. So I've just got these out of the oven and as you can see they're actually looking pretty good for, for me that is anyways so I'm gonna let them cool and then once they have I will tell you what to do next <gasps> it's crusty it's not goosey I kind of want it to be goosey I want to know what goosey is like go around the edge with the spatula hold anything on just so it doesn't slip once you've gone around the edges of both of them, you're now going to want to cut it into squares. How big they are is up to you. You could even literally just take it out and have it like that. It's really up to you. But I think I'm going to go for about that size. Just a bit bigger than bite size because I want it to last a bit longer than a bite. Oof. That's tough. This is what it looks like after I've done one. Now I'm going to do the other. So now they've actually cooled and I have two rows of two. This is not two tin tray things for brownie. We're going to get a plate or a stand or anything fancy of your choice. Ah, oh, that's it. You're gonna pick it up, pop it on the plate. And now repeat this 24 times. I've offloaded one tray, so now on to the next. That is our second tray, now empty. So we went through a lot today baking, but we finally got our final results. I think I'm actually pretty happy with them. I mean, they don't look too bad. But now the bit we've all been waiting for the taste test, do they actually taste half decent? Mm, I'd prefer them to be a bit more goosey. They are very good. I'm pretty proud. Stuff doesn't usually go well when I attempt to bake. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and a comment, and please don't forget to subscribe for more content from me. <laughs> and I am out. Bye!